Hello friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. This is going to be day 23 of Bookmas, and this is actually going to be the last video of my Bookmas series. Um, I had a few other videos in mind that I wanted to do, but it's just not going to end up working out. So, um, this is going to be my last one for this year. Um, I'm going to be doing a yearly reading update and like a what's the word yearly wrap up I guess and a um, overall opinion on how I feel like my um, book miss has gone um, so thank you so much let's get into it so um I just also want to say ahead of time that I appreciate everybody watching my videos so so much um I didn't think I would be able to do a book miss this year because things have just been insane um we got a new puppy a little while ago and it's been hard to keep up with everything but that's fine um love her so much I might have to do a video with her in the new year um uh, if you guys want to see a second puppy um, book tag video introducing her then please let me know because I would love to film it but um, I also first before I get into the yearly wrap-up I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for subscribing and sharing and liking and all the things and commenting it's been incredible and I appreciate you guys more than you know um, I thought that making these videos I would just get like a few views here and there and that would be it and it wouldn't really go anywhere but I can happily say that this has grown more than I thought it would and I'm so 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 appreciative of each and every single one of you I love you all so much so without getting too mushy let's get into the wrap up so let me look at my reading challenge here so one of the books that I read this year was Snow Falling which if you don't know it is a <clears throat> so sorry it is a um a book based on the book that Jane Gloria how do you say her last name Gloriana Villanueva wrote in Jane the Virgin if you haven't seen the show Jane the Virgin on Netflix I highly recommend that show um it's very good but her character in the show is a writer so they published the actual book that her character wrote which is really really cool and I read it and I really liked it um, I'd have to go back and reread it because I just, I feel like I didn't enjoy it enough when I first read it, but it is a really great book, so it's highly recommended. And then I kind of want to do a mix of ones that I did like and didn't like, so another one I read was Once More Upon a Time by Roshani Chuksky. Chuk I'm definitely butchering that, um, but that one... <sighs> That one was weird. I don't know if it's a retelling or if it's like just like a new different twist on a fairy tale, but it's very strange. Um, it was very confusing for a majority of it. I just didn't care for it. Um, no judgment if you liked it. Um, I feel like the reviews were very mixed as well for people that didn't, didn't like it, so I know I'm not alone there, but I don't know. It was a weird one to me. It was hard to keep up with and I don't know. It was just very odd. Um, another one that I read this year was Among the Beasts and Briars, which I loved so much. I read that one earlier this year in like probably March or April, somewhere around there. 
and I was obsessed. I loved it so much, and I cannot wait for more books by Ashley Poston. She's an incredible writer. Like, just the writing in general and the story building was so good, and I loved that it went back and forth with multiple point of views and between Fox and Daisy. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So good. And then another series I started is the Mortal Instrument series. <coughs> I'm talking so much that I'm going to lose my voice. <clears throat> okay. I started um, the Immortal Instruments series, City of Bones. I read City of Bones and City of Ashes. And the first book took me a little while to get through. Because um, I just kind of kept setting it down and walking away from it. I'm not sure why, because I liked it a lot. But um, by Cassandra Clare, the series. And I love City of Ashes. I got through the second one in like a few days. I just couldn't stop reading it I had to know what happened next and I mean this is an older series that I'm sure a lot of you have read by now but I'm a little late to the series but I personally really like it um, I really like the characters I really like the world building it's all very interesting and magical and fantastical I would say the elements of that book but um yeah I really liked it personally I'm planning on reading City of Glass very soon um, so exciting times. I'm very excited for that. And then another one I read that I didn't love is Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow. And I feel like I've heard so many people talk about this author in general and how much they like her. Or is it uh, this person, this author. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It's a Sleeping Beauty retelling, but it it didn't hit the way that I wanted it to. It just, it felt weird. And just, I don't know. But a Sleeping Beauty retelling I did love. However, nice little transition. Um, it was Thornhedge by T. Kingfisher. Loved Thornhedge. Like, I cannot say enough good things about that book. I loved it so much. Like, totaling. Yeah, that's her real name. I know, it's weird. But, oh, I love her character so much. I, I love her. I love her. Like, I want more of Thornhedge. Like, immediately. It was such a good book. Um, another one that I loved was obviously Legendary by Caraval. Um, the second Caraval um, book. So good. So good. I don't know why I was surprised that I still loved it as much as Caraval. I guess because a lot of people told me that the last two books weren't as good as Caraval. But I can happily say that they were wrong um to me they were just as good legendary might have even been better than caravel which is controversial for me because i love caravel but i think the seek i think legendary is better um it just got such a more interesting world and a more interesting layout and setting like with the castle <sighs> i loved it i loved it i loved it i loved it and like the different worlds inside of the castle, like inside of the grounds, like <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop before I get emotional thinking about it. It's fine. Um, and then I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Oh, okay. Here's a good one. So I also read The Ocean at the End of the Lane earlier this year, um, like around the same time that I read, um, which one was it that I talked about? I don't even remember anymore. Well, earlier this year, um, I read... Where'd it go now? I lost it. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It wasn't for me. Um, but that's okay. But the reason I say it's an interesting one to bring up is actually because there is a musical of this on Broadway. I think it's on Broadway right now. And I've been hearing about it all over Instagram, and I'm like, what is going on? With this story being turned into a musical, it's very weird. But I will say, I know a lot of people love Neil Gaiman, so maybe that was just the wrong book for me to read. I don't know, but if you have any suggestions of his books that are better, please feel free to let me know. Maybe I'll give those a try, but as of right now, I don't know that his work is for me, but that is okay. But, um... I would be willing to give more of his books a try because I've seen some of them are like fairy tale esque inspired, which I love. So maybe I'll like those more. 
um, but as of right now I'm not so sure so please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or recommendations I should check out um, and I think that about does it for this yearly wrap-up there was quite a mixed bag in books this year that I liked and didn't like so I think overall it was a pretty successful year of reading for me um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed Book Miss. I'm so thankful for all of you guys. I love you so, so much. Um, I hope you have the merriest Christmas and the happiest New Year. And I love you guys so much. I will see you in the New Year. Bye.